Welcome, travelers, to Spotlight on New York City. I'm Monica McCarthy for MVP New York, publishers of In and Where New York magazines, Where Guestbook New York, QG New York Quick Guide, and In New York Maps. What do ancient Egyptian artifacts, Louis Vuitton handbags, and New York's Governor's Island have in common? They can all be found on the latest episode of MVP Spotlight on New York City. I'm your host, Monica McCarthy, and we have a busy day ahead of us, so let's get started. Our first stop is here at the Tutankhamun and the Golden Age of the Pharaohs at the Discovery Times Square Exposition. This gallery contains objects that were found in King Tut's tomb that he used as part of his everyday life. It's so amazing to be surrounded by all this history. Over here we have King Tut's jewelry box, which is believed to be one of the first examples of the use of hinges. Well, this portion of the gallery shows objects that were actually found on King Tut's mummy itself. So for example, we have a headdress that he was actually believed to have worn during his lifetime. And this was a falcon collar that was found on the mummy. It's interesting to know that over 150 pieces of jewelry were located on him. That's a lot of bling. Although King Tut had no known surviving heirs, he did have two stillborn daughters that were found within the tomb with him as well. Now, Egyptian royalty believed themselves to be deities, so deities can only marry other deities. Therefore, Tutankhamun was believed to have married his either sister or half-sister, and his parents were siblings as well. The last exhibit is here with the exact replica of the mummified remains of King Tut himself. Now, New York City is also the last stop for this exhibition before making its way back home to Egypt. Well, I'm off to preserve myself at the Liz Russell Aveda Lifestyle Salon, and in the meantime, you'll have a very special guest, the editor-in-chief of MVP New York, as well as the executive producer of Spotlight on New York City, Trisha McMahon, who will be leading you to your next destination. Thank you so much, Monica, and I hope you're enjoying your morning of restoration at Liz Russell. Anyway, um, I'm a lover of antiques and anything vintage, and I thought it would be a great idea to come down to a second chance on Lexington Avenue and interview um, the owners, mother and daughter, uh, and see what it's like to uh, have a vintage clothing store. And Maria is the owner of A Second Chance right. with your daughter. Yes. And your daughter is? Natalie. Natalie. And tell me about a little bit about how you started and how it's working with your daughter because I have two sons and I don't know <laughs> if I'd want to work with them, but tell, tell me how the, the shop evolved. Well, it started almost 17 years ago. I, um, I had my second baby and wanted to get into something. Um, unique and something that didn't require too much of an investment so I decided to open a consignment shop. My passion is Chanel and most women love jewelry and handbags and shoes so we are now concentrating more on that and with, with still a focus on really high-end clothing. Let's look around and see what okay. uh, see what we have in a second chance. Shoes, Louis Vuitton, Those I bet. Are Louis Vuitton. Yep. They retail for over two thousand. We're selling them for seven hundred. Wow, which is that's a, great a bargain. Deal. So yeah. everything has been discounted here. Everything's discounted and bargain because everything is like new. And this is Natalie, this is my lovely daughter Natalie. Hello. She joined. The it's a family business. business. <laughs> she joined the business um, over a year ago. Family business. We work together and we hang out. And we actually have <laughs> dinner together. Okay. And we still talk. I guess we'll be talking <laughs> off camera what it's really like. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, everybody that comes here will tell you we are 
We get along we, really that's well. That's wonderful. We well, well it's a it's a jewel box of a of a store. So, a gem. Yeah. Well, speaking of gems, <laughs> look at that necklace. What is that? Thank you. This is a Chanel. Um, it's a newer piece, but we have quite the selection of Chanel vintage jewelry dating back from the 50s. Mm -hmm. So this is a great piece. It's classically Chanel, black, white, pearl, CCs, and it's actually a belt. Wow. But it so can be worn as a necklace. Okay, so for, for the price of two things, what would the what would your price be? So we're selling this right now for sixteen hundred mm -hmm. and it retails for over two thousand, close okay. to twenty five. Well thank you so much for showing me around your beautiful store a second chance. Thank you. For thank coming. you, Maria. Thank you, Natalie. Thank I you. really appreciate it. I will definitely be back and I know that once people see this, they are gonna come in too. I really appreciate it, and I love all the French things, and so much so, maybe I'll go for lunch at uh, DB Bistro Modern and have a foie gras hamburger. Sounds delicious. It does. Well, Trisha, I hope you enjoyed your shopping experience. I know I enjoyed my pedicure. And I am now here at Governor's Island, and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. Let's check it out. Joining us now is Travis Noyes, the COO of the Harbor Experience Company, which includes... Harbor Experience Company includes uh, New York Water Taxi, which is the little yellow boats you see all over New York City, Circle Line downtown, and then Water Taxi Beach, of which uh, this beach is our third one. Awesome. Well, now, what makes Governor's Island different from the other beaches that you have? Well, number one, it's the only one that you can only get to by boat. <laughs> and uh, Governor's Island has really become uh, New York City's uh, central park of Lower Manhattan. Uh, there's 250,000 people came here last year to bike and picnic and uh, walk around the island. And uh, you know, we just thought it was a place that uh, Water Taxi wanted to be, being that we have a fleet of boats and uh, uh, urban beaches. Uh, by nighttime, uh, during the weekend, on the weekend, during the summer and fall, we have concerts here. We're probably going to have 30 to 35 um, this year, ranging from 1,000 to 3,500 people. Um, you know, we have uh, people like Ye Sayer and She and Him to the other side of the corner with 50 Cent and Puff Daddy. Uh, so we have a pretty uh, diverse offering. You know, so during the day, uh, families will come out and people will play volleyball and basketball. Um, you know, come out here and picnic and really just, uh, you know, enjoy the sun. And, uh, you know, while they're exploring Governor's Island, and at night becomes, uh, you know, nightlife. And speaking of nightlife, I, I know you have uh, a little bar over there, right? We do, yes, absolutely. And uh, and some snacks. I noticed you have um, vegan potato salad and vegetarian burgers and soy dogs. I mean, among other foods, but uh, that's pretty. That's kind of unusual. I didn't expect that. You know, even our more beach fare, such as our hamburgers, uh, uh, our award-winning last year, the uh, Moats Burger, which is the name of our hamburger, won the uh, Burger of the Year in the Battle of the Burrows, and it's hand-ground every morning. Wow. And uh, so, you know, we're pretty proud of our food here. And what else? I, I saw some people dress up in Native American costumes. I mean, there's educational programs that you have here? Or? There is, absolutely. Uh, like this building up here is uh, filled by the Lower Manhattan Cultural Council and uh, lots, of, lots of artist exhibits and festivals and uh, like City of Water Day. Uh, you know, it, it's really, you know, an open space where people can come and uh, enjoy New York. Aside from swimming, how does one get to Governor's Island? Well, the Governor's Island Ferry is the uh, primary way of getting to Governor's Island. Uh -huh. But uh, obviously the way that we prefer is New York Water Taxi, which uh, runs here on Fridays and uh, for all our special events. Well, thank you so much, Travis, for all of your help and your information. I'm sure all of our viewers are going to take it to heart and come take a trip to Governor's Island. Absolutely. Uh, we look forward to seeing everybody. Well, I hope you had fun on our adventures today. A huge thank you to all of our vendors. Be sure and follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, check us out on mvpny.net. And uh, I'm about to finish this beverage, soak up some rays, and check out the Blue Man Group tonight. Have fun.